excited to be here with Siobhan, who is a SUNY Buff State alum and admissions counselor. Uh, and in a moment, she's going to introduce herself and tell you all about Buffalo State. Um, really quickly, want to let you know that we've got a whole bunch of exciting events coming up. You can check them all at collegevine.com live streams, all live streams in the drop down menu. We've got sessions with admissions officers from various schools and uh, service providers uh, in all kinds of areas to help you with your college admissions endeavors. Uh, there's a little poll uh, where you can where you can rate the live stream if you hang around long enough. We'd appreciate it if you fill that one out when it pops up on the screen. Um, and finally, we want this to be as interactive as possible. Hope that you came with some questions prepared and you can throw them in the chat at any time. Uh, so please do that. So uh, Siobhan can answer some questions uh, at the end of the presentation if there's time. Uh, and uh, oh, and last, uh, make sure to follow College Vine at College Vine on Instagram and TikTok or College Vine on YouTube. That's all I have to say. Siobhan, do you want to introduce yourself and start the presentation? Yes, thank you so much, Elias. Hello, everyone. My name is Siobhan. I'm one of the admissions advisors here at Buffalo State. Uh, so we will get started and you will learn all that you can about Buffalo State today. So let me start sharing my screen with you. All righty. So you all should be able to see my screen here. All right, so let's get started. Thank you. Again, my name is Siobhan, so I will be giving you a little bit of background about Buffalo State. Just to give you some information about myself, I am a Buffalo State alum. I graduated in 2015 with my degree in sociology and then also came back again for my master's degree in higher education. So I know the student aspect in addition to the application process and the staff aspect. So of course, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put those in the chat so I can help answer those questions for you. Now, these are going to be the topics that I will speak to you all about today, the programs of study, what you are interested in, we are located in Buffalo, and then size. Also, you want to know information about the school itself, um, what we offer, such as athletic programs. We'll talk about um, some things about campus life. And of course, the most important one, which is attending. So these are going to be some hot topics that I will speak to you all about today. And again, if you have any questions, make sure to put those in the chat. So now the size of our institution. So you may be wondering how big, how small is Buffalo State? So we would consider ourselves a mid-sized school. We have about 8,000 students and majority of those students are undergraduates. So about 7,000 students and then 1,000 students are graduate students here. So if you do see yourself in a type of institution of that size, um, we have about 40 students to 50 students students per class. And then once you get into your major, it gets a little less. Um, so that's something that a lot of students gear towards. Now with campus diversity, we have a lot of students coming from different backgrounds and from all over. And that is from the United States or even internationally. So you can find others who are like you and also different. So make sure that you do visit our website so you can get a little more background about that. Um, and things that you can get involved in. And then the third item on this page here, programs of study. So I'm excited to see what type of majors you all are interested in. So top majors that we have here at Buffalo State is biology, criminal justice, uh, computer information systems, just to give you an idea. But if you're unsure of what you wanna study, you can always come in undecided. So that is obviously an option for you. Now, if you find um, two majors of study that you're interested in, you can major and minor in something, or if you're feeling very eager, you can always um, double major. So these are some other opportunities for you to take advantage of. So programs of studies, we have about 79 um, undergraduate majors here and also some accelerated certificates. So that's also another thing that we like to take pride in here. 
Now the type of institution we are, so we are part of the SUNY system, which is a network of 64 campuses and we are one of them. Uh, we are considered in the category of a university college. Within the SUNY system, there are university centers, university colleges, technology colleges, in community colleges. So we are ranked as a university college here. So again, that speaks to our size here, which we love. So again, that's something that we like to um, point out to most of our students. Then for cost of attendance, I know it's very important to always talk about money. Um, this is a one of the main three pillars of determining where you would go to school. So with the cost of attendance that you saw on the previous page that I was on a little earlier, it showed tuition and cost of attendance being about 8,600. But that does not include our residence life and the meal plan. So essentially where you would be living on campus. So for tuition, student fees, and room and board for a New York State student, that would be about 22,000 for a full academic school year. Now, if you're out of state, it's it's a little different. Um, it ranges about $32,000, but this is all subject to change. You definitely want to make sure that you are completing FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid uh, that does open up for all students on October 1st. Now location. So essentially our location is in our name. So that is Buffalo, New York. We are the second largest school or excuse me, the second largest city in New York state. Um, so that also gives us a little something there. So some students, they don't wanna be in the New York city area, but Buffalo is um, something that comes up a little close. It's still a city um, that has its own hustle and bustle, uh, but we make sure to show students what Buffalo is all about. Um, where we are located, we're right in the heart of the city. You can access anything here, such as museums, local restaurants, and other areas here in walking distance. So we always would love for you to come to Buffalo and visit, and we do have Niagara Falls, which is not too far away. Now, as for athletic programs, so hopefully I have some athletes in the room. We are considered division three for both men's and women's sports. So for men's, we have football, basketball, indoor and outdoor track and field. And then for women's, essentially the same thing. We have basketball, indoor and outdoor track and field, lacrosse and even softball. But if you're not on the athletic um, realm there, if you're not too fond of that, you can still stay active when we have a wonderful fitness center here that you can take part in and exercise whenever you'd like. Um, also, with that being said, we have a wonderful ice skating rink where you could do a uh, free skate in the winter time. And then we also have a swimming pool that you can go and do some free swim. So just get your um, heart beat pumping there so you'll you'll be able to be active and things like that. Now for hands-on learning. So we definitely want you to be involved inside and outside of the classroom. So we always recommend internship opportunities. So a student right there in that picture, we have a local theater called Shays Performing Arts Center here in Buffalo. And she was able to intern with Hamilton. So she was able to see how they, um, uh, work and navigate and act. So this is something that she was definitely interested in, but having an internship is getting that practical experience and exploring ex essentially what you want to do for the future. So this can determine, yes, I wanna do this for the future or no, that doesn't tickle my fancy. I may switch it up a bit. Now, lastly on this page is campus life. So this is another thing so you can stay involved and active on campus. We have clubs, organizations, and Greek life. Uh, some clubs that we have on our campus are Caribbean Student Organization, a rowing club, a men's and women's rugby team. So these are things that where you can meet other people and see what these interactive um, sports and clubs are all about. We have a specific day on our campus, um, two days exactly, called Tuesdays and Thursdays called Bengal Pause. So this is essentially where we all take a break from classes 
and um, students go into our student union so they can see what clubs and organizations, the programs that they are hosting for that week. All righty. Now, essentially, Buffalo State is a wonderful school for all students. You would have to explore and visit us in order to tell. Um, ways that you can apply to Buffalo State would be the SUNY application or common application. Now, there are essentially two different application opportunities for you. So there's the general application or the EOP application. Now, with that being said, you will of course have the assistance from your high school counselor. They will make sure that you are on the right road, but essentially those are the options for you, either applying through this SUNY application or common application. Now we will make sure to give you my information if you did have any further questions about Buffalo State, but this is an overview of what we have to offer. The the average GPA that we do look for is about an 84 to an 86. And another mention is that we are test optional. So um, this is a SUNY wide policy, not just a Buffalo State policy. And with that being said, we are on pause and being test optional until summer of 2024. So if I have some rising seniors in the room today, you do not have to submit your test scores if you do not want to. But with that being said, you submitting your test scores do, does not give you leverage over another student who did not submit their test scores, all right? So again, we would love for you to visit our um, website, also our campus. Open house is a great opportunity. So we have two um, opportunities for you to visit, which would be in October and also November. So these are ways of how you can stay in touch with us. So you can send us an email, visit our website so you can explore a little more of the um, programs of studies that we have to offer. You can send us a text message and even follow us on Instagram.